Hi, it's Miss McManus. I'm here to show my building women and anyone else who wants a great little activity for taking care of yourself when you're stressed or irritated or especially if you don't know how you're feeling. It's called What's in My Heart and all you need for it is a piece of paper and some colored pencils or markers or crayons. For this one, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I used colored pencils. Today, I'm just going to use this box of old crayons I found around my house from when my son was in elementary school. So if you can draw a heart, draw one on your paper. I know some of you can't draw hearts or hate drawing hearts, so you can also just take a bowl, trace around it, and get a circle on your paper. There's my circle. If I want to get fancy. There's my heart. Once you have your heart drawn, you're gonna start thinking a little bit about what it is in fact you are feeling. And you're gonna pick a color for each feeling you're having. So, I'm feeling pretty calm this morning. So I'm gonna choose purple to be my start off color. And I'm gonna make that the color for calm. Made myself a little guide. Color work. Now, obviously, like a lot of us, I'm also kind of worried. So I'm gonna choose this red crayon. And my next thing, I'm gonna choose the color red for worried. Now, I'm also pretty happy to be home with my family. And they're all doing well. So I'm gonna take this beautiful spring green. And with that one, I'm gonna write the word happy. But at the same time, obviously I'm sad to be away from all of you guys. And you know, sadness is often called blue. So I'm gonna take this blue crayon and use that one to stand for how much I'm sad. To be honest, I've also been a little irritable lately. So I'm gonna take an orange crayon and I'm gonna write the whole word irritable. You might just wanna write the word mad that's how you're feeling, or cranky. You can keep adding as many colors and emotions to the list as you want, um, till you've listed all the things that you feel like you're feeling. So right now I've got these five we're gonna start with. Calm, worried, happy, sad, and irritated. Now I'm gonna think about how much I'm feeling of each color, each emotion. I'm gonna say I'm mostly feeling calm, so I'm gonna start by, across my heart, making a big stretch that I'm gonna color in purple. So I took about this much of the heart and I'm coloring it in. Well, I'm coloring, thinking a little bit about what it is that makes me feel calm, which I guess is it's nice to be in my safe house. Uh, the sun is shining, that always calms me down. All right, so now I've got a section that shows I've got a lot of calm on top, but at the same time, I've got a fair amount of worried. So I'm gonna make a worry division under my calm one. I'm gonna color that one in. Now, if you wanna get super fancy about this, when my seventh and eighth graders did it last year, they broke all the colors into little pieces to show how you can go really fast from feeling happy to depressed to con con content to back to worried to back to happy. But if you wanna keep it simpler, and just do these big stripes like I'm doing today. So I've colored it all in, and you can tell by looking at my heart and my little key here, how much I'm feeling calm versus worried, happy and sad, and that there is that little section of irritated or irritable in here, which um, I think a lot of us are having. So whether yours came out kind of fancy, pretty simple. I'm hoping that the chance to do it gave you some time to look inside and think about how you're feeling because that can be a really helpful way actually to feel better, just to name what you're feeling. If we had been able to do this in class, I would have given us some time at the end of class to show our hearts to one another. So if you are messaging with some friends, especially if they're building women, um, you can maybe take a picture of the one you do 
send them your heart in a message and have them send theirs back. And it can be a little way to know how your friends are doing and how you can take care of them. So that's what's in your heart, our Building Women project for today. Stay safe and be well.